Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back. And a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes every Saturday we talk all about new makeup releases. Are they cute? Are they ugly? Are we purchasing? Are we passing? What are we doing with all the new makeup? Now, warning, we're probably going to have a lot this week. As we move closer to the holidays, the more and more and more makeup comes out. So I'm really excited to see what's new for the week. And if you're excited to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, because like I said, we do a new makeup releases every Saturday and I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below. I will link everything we talk about today, discount codes, release dates, and the link to purchase the item directly. Click the link, buy the makeup, all down in the description box, along with my favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video, if you would like to recreate this look, and come follow me over on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. I'm going to pull up Trend Mood One, Makeup on My Radar, and Indie Makeup Hotspot on Instagram. Scoot over and let's talk makeup. Like I said last week, it seems to be concealer time, and we have another new concealer release. This time, this is The Awakening. Surreal Skin Concealer from Makeup by Mario. Now, I've never tried anything from Makeup by Mario. I should, because I've actually heard really good things about this brand, but this is a multi-use concealer that visibly lifts, blurs, and brightens your under eyes and complexion. Caffeine visibly depuffs, tightens, and smooths skin for an awakened look. Medium coverage, buildable formula, crease-proof, and long-wearing with a self setting formula that locks in with a natural skin-like finish. 22 shades, 29 each. It's available now on their website and Sephora. Now, all those claims sound really good. <laughs> I have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. I'm almost 48 years old. So anytime I can get a concealer that's going to deliver hydration that doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles, that sounds really good. Now, I don't need a new concealer right now. I'm really trying to go through everything that I'm currently have on hand. So when I am in the market for a new concealer, I definitely want to try out this one by Makeup by Mario. In fact, try a few of the Makeup by Mario products. So we have a new release from NARS. These are the Power Matte High Intensity Long Lasting Lip Pencils. Now I feel like it's been a long time since NARS has put out a lip product in general, especially a lip pencil. This is a bold matte pencil that saturates lips in rich pigment and has up to 12 hours of staying power. Transformative cream to matte texture applies effortlessly and seals in a bold matte finish. $30 a piece available September 1st at Sephora. Now I do not need any more lip liners. I don't need any more lip products. You guys, I have way too many and I just did a declutter. So we're going to have to do another declutter. So I'm going to pass on these, although I think they look really, really beautiful. Like I mentioned, holiday releases are coming and Lancome has released their holiday 2023 collection. This is the Lancome X Lurve, L-O-U-V-R-E, Lurve Love Collection, inspired by the majesty and elegance of Renaissance artworks. It includes the eyeshadow palette, lipsticks in dark red, coral, brick red, and red with a pink undertone, and the Genifique Advanced Face Serum. It looks like this will all be available in October on their website and retailers. So this whole collection, although I think it's pretty, I think the eyeshadow palette's actually really pretty. Neutral with a pop of green. This is all a complete pass for me, but I wanted to share because it's exciting to see all the holiday releases. This is not exciting. This is not exciting at all. This is the newest release from Urban Decay. I feel like we need to do a welfare check on Urban Decay because this is, no, no, no. This is their newest palette to their Naked line. First of all, nothing about this is naked. Naked is supposed to be like you in your natural state, right? None of this screams naked. I feel like they're just taking advantage of the popularity of naked. This is the Metal Mania palette. It includes 12 shades with different finishes. Currently it's in Europe and it's coming to other countries and websites and retailers soon. So this is basically like every other naked palette. If you took away the purple and the yellow, it would be every other naked palette. Every other naked palette. This is an absolute no for me and I really wish that Urban Decay would come out with something a little bit more intriguing 
than this. So Made by Mitchell is another brand that I've never tried. Nothing's really ever enticed me from the brand, but I do think this is really beautiful. This is their new cream face palette in curve cases by Made by Mitchell. Each curve case includes eight colors of the gloss dewy cream formula, giving you a radiant and fresh faced glow with four bronze and contour shades inspired by the iconic Lursh bronzed collection and four familiar blush shades. <clears throat> It comes in fair, medium, and deep, and they're $37.99 each. Now, I think this is a smart release for Made by Mitchell or really any brand because cream products are so fantastic, especially as we age. And I love that you have bronzer, contour, and blush in one. So this would be a great travel palette. This would be great if you don't have a lot of cream products in your collection. And it does come in the three different skin tones. It's not something I need to pick up, but I am intrigued now a little bit more by the Made with Mitchell brand. Let me know if you've tried Made by Mitchell and what you think. I already bought this. It's on its way to me and I hemmed and hawed and I almost didn't buy it, but I bought it. And this is the newest palette release from Natasha Denona. This is the I Need a Nude palette. Now, this is a neutral palette. It's a cool tone neutral palette. It reminds me of my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. I have these colors in my collection but I was still intrigued because there's some new finishes in this palette. And honestly, Natasha Denona has a really good formula. This is a cool tone palette with 15 new nude shades in matte metallic, sparkling foiled in a new wet effect formula. That intrigues me. In a sleek 3D plexiglass case inspired by minimalistic architecture. $69 available now on Sephora's website. So I bought this right off of Ulta actually. It's at Ulta as well. I had some points and I'm like, we're just gonna buy it. So I definitely want to do a full video on this when it comes in. I do think it's really pretty, especially if you love cool tones and you love more nude colors. Also really pretty kind of bridal inspired palette. I did buy the Blend Bunny Forget Me Not palette. I actually have that sitting right there. So that video is coming too. This kind of gave me that same vibe. So I kind of want to compare them. I already bought it. Stay tuned for a video. Another palette I won't be buying is this new release from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimensions 3 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. So again, Patrick Ta Beauty, this is an all matte palette. Cool and warm tones, matte and cream formulas, all in one palette for $70. Available as of September 1st on their website and Sephora. So you guys know if I use a matte palette, it's my Blend Bunny mattes or my Blend Bunny blends because it's the best ever matte formula. I am not a big neutral lover. I, I love color more than neutral, so I wouldn't honestly never reach for this palette. I have all these shades in my blends. And honestly, $70 for a matte palette seems like a lot. A lot. I mean, there's no special shades in here. There's no multi-chromes. There's no duochromes. It's all neutral matte. So Definitely a skip, but let me know if you're picking this up. So the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is coming. 50% off select brands with lots of fun releases daily. They usually put these exciting things out every day. The sale actually starts August 27th and goes through September 16th. And they have new discounts and deals every single day for that entire time period. I did watch a few videos where they talked about the 21 Days of Beauty and there are some things I'm definitely interested in. So I will link the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale down below. Again, it's August 27th through September 16th. So Jaclyn Cosmetics has released a new product. I'm pretty intrigued by this. This is the new Vanity Light Glazed Luminizer, a transforming high shine glazed balm that brings your true radiance to light in five blinding shades. I'm ethereal, which is a warm silver. I'm radiant, which is a golden peach. I'm luminous, which is a golden pink. I'm brilliant, which is a burnt rose. And I'm dazzling, which is a rich bronze. So there's a little bit of something for all skin tones available as of August 24th on the Jaclyn Cosmetics website and in Ulta as of the 27th. So I saw a reel on Jaclyn's Instagram and she said her favorite way to use this is over her set face. So once you once you set your face with powder and your, your foundation, your complexion is done, she was just tapping that on the high points of her face and it was so beautiful. Definitely that ethereal glow and you know I love a glow. So I'm thinking what I'll do is pick one up when it comes to Ulta and then we'll do it in a testing new makeup because I'm definitely intrigued by this. I think it's a unique product, especially if it's something that's kind of cream-ish that you can apply on a finished face. So very excited about this. So speaking of neutral palettes, Danessa Myricks is also releasing a neutral palette. That must be the thing as we move into fall. This is the Defining Neutrals palette for eyes, brows, face, and lips. 
One palette with different two textures, velvety pomades and shape and fix with 10 color coordinating shades. It says you can use it on your eyes, brows, face, and lips to create neutral to dramatic looks. Base with the velvet pomade, set with shape and fix, blend with shape and fix in line with velvet pomade. Telt free $65. Available September 4th on the Danessa Myricks website and Sephora. So this is kind of her take on the Blend Bunny Forget Me Not palette that I already bought, which is a eye and face palette that I'm excited about to take for travel. This is a pass for me. Like I said, it's pretty similar to the Blend Bunny one and you guys know I love Blend Bunny's formula. So I knew that that was the one I was going to choose. We have a new fragrance release from Valentino and I love the packaging. I love bright pink. We know this, we know this. This is the Born in Roma Pink PP Odi Pour Foom by Valentino. Valentino monochromatic inspired by the iconic pink PP Rockstead bottle, celebrating the uniqueness of everyone in the many vibrant ways to be you. I love that. A dazzling floral ambery fragrance with Madagascar bourbon vanilla and magnificent orange blossom accords. So your top notes are mandarin, your heart notes are orange blossom accord, and your base notes is bourbon vanilla. So it's coming soon to the U.S. It's currently in other countries. The notes sound really good. I'm definitely going to smell this in store and I could see myself adding this to my fragrance collection. Oh, and spoiler alert, I love the packaging. So it's been confirmed that Marc Jacobs Beauty is coming back. We were told quite a while ago, geez, at least a year ago that Marc Jacobs was no longer a beauty brand. Well, this says that they inked a licensing deal with Cody, which he previously, is it Cody or Cody? C-O-T-Y, which he previously only worked with on fragrance portfolio. Cody has just begun work on a Marc Jacobs Jacob's Prestige Beauty line, which will be ready in around roughly two to three years. <laughs> two to three years, coming soon, we'll keep you posted. So I'm excited to see in two to three years what Marc Jacob's Beauty does. So this is an exciting release from e.l.f. This is their new Jelly Pop Dew Primer. It says, do it up with e.l.f. Cosmetics Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This unique gel texture primer is infused with skin-loving ingredients that multitask to keep makeup in place while moisturizing your skin with a refreshing watermelon scent. Ooh, that sounds so good. It's $10. It's available now on the e.l.f. Cosmetics website, and it's coming soon to Ulta. It may actually be there because this post was about a week or so ago. I definitely want to check this out. I love e.l.f.'s primers and watermelon. You get me every time with watermelon. So Huda Beauty's adding to their Glowish line with the juiciest lip balm ever. Our new Glowish Super Jelly Lip Balm is so addictive. The lightweight texture melts onto the lips with a flush of color and sexy shine. Each superfood infused formula gives lips a subtle tint. So Matcha Tea is going to give you a pink tint, Blueberry, a purplish pink flush, Goji Berry, a red orange hue, and Coconut, which is just a clear colorless shine. 12 hour hydration, vegan certified, and 92% natural ingredients launching October 21st. Now, I think these are beautiful, but like I said, this girl needs no more lip products. So I'm passing on these, but I wanted to share because if I did need a lip product, I would definitely pick this up. So Huda Beauty is releasing some four pan quad eyeshadow palettes. These are the Make Your Eyes Pop with our three new Glowish Micro Mini Eyeshadow Palette. We pack these vegan palettes with high performing creamy pigments and a cute pocket size design for easy on the go looks. Each quad has three creamy mattes and one pearly shimmer. So we have clay, moss, and amethyst. These are also available as of the 21st along with Huda Beauty's lip balm. These are pretty. The only one that intrigues me is the one with the green, but it doesn't intrigue me enough that I'm racing to buy it. However, however, if you guys are interested in these and you want to see it in a testing makeup, let me know and let me know what color you'd prefer, the orangey, the pinky, or the green, and I would pick one up for science. So Glaminatrix has a new release and these are really beautiful. These are the Glimmering Creatures Single Sparkly Metallic Eyeshadow Bundle, where shimmer meets untamed beauty, unleash your inner sparkle and create mesmerizing looks that roar with confidence. Buy in a bundle or individually on the website. So again, you can buy them individually with or without compacts. It doesn't have any prices here, but it says you can use the code RADAR10 at checkout. Now these are really, really beautiful. I don't buy a lot of single shadows. I just don't reach for them. So I'm going to pass, but I wanted to share because these are ultra sparkly and a little bit more on the neutral side. Now here's something I already bought as well because it's from my favorite brand in the world and that's on Earthly Cosmetics. She released the Sorcerer's Smoke 
pre-order palette. This is all my fall dreams come true. It's a smoky neutral palette and I love it. Six mattes, six shimmers. It's available now for $60 pre-order and it will ship in October. I already bought this. She also reformulated her Fall Magic palette. I have the original Fall Magic palette, so I didn't buy that one. And like I mentioned, I bought her Halloween release as well. So as soon as those come in, stay tuned for a video. But this palette is absolutely beautiful. I saw her swatch this on her, on her YouTube channel and I gasped. So this was definitely something I needed to pick up. So it'll be linked down below and I'll put the discount that I use, which saved me 10%. And quickly I'll pop in the picture of the Fall Magic. So this is the revised Fall Magic. If you don't have the original, this one is stunning and this is such a great fall palette. So NBA Cosmetics has their fall release and this is so cute. Pumpkin Kisses in Autumn Wishes. It will make its return this fall about September 14th. Nine shades, four mattes, two duochrome, two shimmer, one metallic shimmer, and you can use the code RADAR10 at checkout. Now, this is a beautiful fall palette, absolutely beautiful. I'm intrigued by this. It isn't out yet, so it's a restock. They're bringing it back from last year. I'm going to see if I can find some reviews since it's a restocked palette, and if it performs beautifully on the eyes, I may pick this up as well. I love fall palettes. I just love fall anything fall in general. We also have a new release from Dose of Colors. Now, Dose of Colors has never intrigued me, has never been a brand that I was interested in, but I will say this palette, and it is so beautiful. This is a limited edition collection that launches August 23rd at 12 p.m. CST. This is in collaboration palette. The eyeshadow palette, I love it. The rest of it, I don't care about, but the eyeshadow palette is so incredibly beautiful. It actually makes me wanna try Dose of Colors for the first time. Now, I don't have any information. Let me scroll up and see if there's more about this palette. I don't see any more information, so I don't know how much this palette is, but the palette definitely intrigues me. Again, let me know if you're interested in seeing me review this. So Makeup Revolution has released a new palette. This is an interesting release from them. This is their Revolution Reloaded Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. It says, our iconic Reloaded Palette has had an upgrade. Say hello to Reloaded 2.0, the same iconic, highly pigmented, affordable shadows in an all new palette format. So this is cruelty free and vegan. It's available now. It's $8. Now I will say that the colorful one is really pretty. There's a neutral one. You guys know I don't love Makeup Revolution, but I wanted to share because it is an affordable drugstore brand and I know a lot of you really like their shadows. Now Bare Minerals has a new foundation release. This is the original Pure Serum Radiant Natural Liquid Foundation with Mineral SPF 20. It says a liquid serum foundation that is infused with 93% skincare ingredients and mineral SPF 20 for a naturally radiant finish. It's a natural finish, medium coverage, SPF 20. So this looks really nice. I love that it has hyaluronic acid for plumping. It has hydration and then it's a glowy foundation. Again, $44. It's available now. I'm definitely intrigued by this. I don't need any foundation right now, but when I do, I think I'm going to pick this up and test it out. It has been a hot minute since I bought anything bare minerals. Milk Makeup also released a cream highlighter stick. Now I just bought one of their cream bronzer sticks. So stay tuned for that in an upcoming testing new makeup, but they have their cream highlighter stick a dewy cream highlighter stick with a nourishing formula that builds and blends seamlessly for a radiant shimmery glow it's vegan clean cruelty free gluten free and talc free comes in three shades available now at sephora and milk makeup's website $24 each. So I'm going to pass on this. I always say that I don't really use cream highlighter. I use a glowy product with my foundation, but if you love milk makeup, I will tell you that I did buy the bronzer stick. Stay tuned for that, but I'm going to pass on the highlighter. Milk makeup also released a setting powder. So this is the Pore Clips Matte Translucent Talc Free Setting Powder, a weightless talc free translucent setting powder that controls shine, blurs pores, and sets makeup for up to 16 hours for a smooth matte finish. Now this looks like it's vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. It is available as of September 1st on the Sephora website. Oh, it's actually on the Sephora website now for $32. Now, if you have oily skin, this is probably the perfect setting powder for you. You guys know I prefer more of a glowy, luminizing setting powder, but I wanted to share this because again, if you have oily skin, this would definitely be worth checking out. And the last new makeup release I want to talk about is from the indie brand Rebel Rouge Labs, and this is their Creatures of Forever palette. So this is their Halloween release. It says this 12-pan palette is packed with multi-chrome and mattes. 
Shades that are inspired by the 80s and 90s thriller novels written by Christopher Pike. It is $42.99. You can buy it on the Rebel Rouge Labs website. This is so fun. I love the oranges, the yellows, the greens. It is the perfect spooky season palette. I've never bought anything from the brand before. And I'm gonna pass on this only because I did buy a few other spooky season releases. I'm still waiting on the one from Nomad Cosmetics. I know Bella Butte Bar's putting one out. I, there'll be other brands that I love putting out spooky season palettes, but I wanted to share because the color story of this is so fun. So those are all of this week's new makeup releases. Let me know what do you think about everything being released? What are you purchasing? What are you passing on? Don't forget I'll link everything down below with direct links to the product, discount codes, release dates, everything for you, as well as my favorite beauty boxes all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to recreate this look and come follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Here's to another new makeup releases and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!